In this question we have a full wave rectification circuit. The period of the sinusoidal input signal is 6.3 milliseconds and we have to choose the correct potential difference time graph. Rectification is used with AC or alternating current circuits. So let's see how this AC current varies with time. I have drawn this graph below. As you can see the current time graph has a sinusoidal shape. Now this current would create a sinusoidal potential difference time graph as well and rectification is used to avoid these fluctuations in the potential difference. We are told in a question that the period of the input signal or in other words the period of the AC current is 6.3 milliseconds. So this distance on our graph here is 6.3 milliseconds. Now in general the shape of a full wave rectification potential difference time graph looks like this. I will not go into the details of full wave rectification here but since the whole point of full wave rectification is to reduce fluctuations in the potential difference answer options B and C simply don't make sense. Now peaks and toros on the AC current graph correspond to the peaks on the full wave rectification potential difference time graph. So this peak corresponds to this peak and this toro corresponds to this peak. Logically then the time difference between these two points should be the same as on the AC current graph so 6.3 milliseconds and looking at the scales on the graphs given in the question it is clear that the correct answer here is A.